Hey Cardinals and welcome back to Cardinal Nights where we keep you updated on trends, movies, celebrity and more. I'm your host Ms. Nani and I'm extremely excited to introduce my good friend, partner in crime and talented co-host Jacob Martinez. Thank you so much Nani for that amazing introduction. Hello Cardinals, hello you guys. Uh, like I said, I would be the new co-host for Cardinal Nights and I couldn't be more excited to be a part of this amazing team with you guys. Yes, if you guys don't know, me and Jacob go way back. We worked Ooh. on so many projects together and Cardinal Nights wasn't going to be the exception because <laughs> this year we're making it bigger and better. Bigger and better. That is completely correct, Nani. This semester, we have so much for you guys. So many surprises, so many pop-up events, some guests. We also, let's just say that you're going to want to keep up with us. Speaking of keeping up, Nani, tell me about what's trending, because I know it's a lot going on in San Antonio and on campus. And girl, you've been busy. Yes, Jacob. I've been <laughs> so busy haunting down um, what is happening in San Antonio and on campus. Right. Hey, but it turned out to be so worth it. The first event that I went to off campus was last minute. It was right, like it took me like five minutes to get the press passes. Right. And luckily the guy Femi, who was in charge, he was cool enough to, you know, get back to me in like less than five minutes. So nice. And in a day I had press passes for the African market with festival. one day. Yes, for the one day. <laughs> um, and it was great. And honestly, let's just let's just take a look. Hey guys, I'm here at the 2020 African Market Festival where we're gonna be exploring and embracing the African culture through music, dance, food, and so much more. which I love. Please tell me a little bit about it. Is it handmade? So these jewelries are from South Africa. I had no idea, Nani, seriously. I didn't know that um, it looks like a lot of fun. I had no idea that we had so many amazing events, such as the African um, African market, where we basically highlighting African culture mm -hmm. and fashion. So that looks like a lot of fun. I mean, I can only imagine what it would be like to go to an event like that. How oh, was yeah. your experience? Oh my gosh, it was great. Everybody was so nice. Not only that, but you know, I had to get my shopping on. Of course you did. Dude. <laughs> There was so many beautiful things. I bought a wallet, a shirt, plus um, one of the vendors, Afric Tude, super nice girl. I mean, I loved her. Was cool enough to hook me up with a necklace. Oh. She was like, keep it. And I was like, I will do that. <laughs> so shout out to her. Um, the African Market Festival is very new. It's only been around for four years mm. as part of Dream Week. And honestly, I see this event just blossoming and becoming better and better throughout the years. If you guys visit my our YouTube page, you guys can see the full interviews and the playlist. Yeah, that sounds actually quite amazing. Yeah, but I know I'm not the only one who's been busy. Jacob, oh. I know you've been doing your thing, so oh. come on. Well, you know, I do try to stay busy, <laughs> Nani, as well. So this past Wednesday, January 22nd, I hosted the first ever Hoopla 2020. The main event, uh, the main idea for the event was to bring the communication arts department together as one family. Faculty, staff, and students were able to win prizes, enjoy food and refreshments, and have a great time at Hoopla 2020. This really was a great event, Nani. Just the fact that we got to see uh, fashion department, computer design, graphic design, communication arts, 
all together on the one building at the same time, just having a great time. It was it was fantastic. Yes, I was able to I was able to go, and it was a really good turnout. I yes. mean. I'm not gonna brag, but right now <laughs> the Com Arts Department, we're the ones showing out. Like it was really good. It really was. And really it was an honor hosting the Hoopla 2020. Yes. Yeah, speaking of events on campus this week, one of our beautiful team members was able to visit a couple of on-campus events, such as painting with a twist, mm. at the Rosenberg School of Optometry on January 27th. <laughs> Basically what we're doing is raising money for Foundation for Fighting Blindness in Texas um, and usually we all, in school we learn about these retinal diseases about how you know there's very little we can do for them um, as far as trying to improve their vision but these doctors and these researchers are trying to find a cure for these diseases and try to help these people see better and I think any penny going towards that event is is worthy enough and so yeah we're just basically trying to raise money for that. Students would pay, I think, $5 at the door, wow. which would include a drink and access to this very awesome event. That's great. So if you guys don't know, part of San Antonio culture is that we actually have a painting with a twist here. Um, it's a little bit more pricey. It's not $5. Right. Um, but yeah, it's dedicated to doing exactly that. You go with friends, family, significant other, you know, and you get drinks. That's the twist. And you just enjoy a... That is so a interesting. Like, you know, I've never done painting with a twist. I've never, I've never done that before. So I'm definitely be looking forward to doing that. Here and you don't have to be artistic because you get templates. <laughs> so <laughs> you don't even have to have an artistic talent. It's you the get easy templates. Road, exactly. Easy way out. There we go. Exactly. I love that. <laughs> so it sounds like a perfect Valentine's Day uh, idea since Valentine's is right around the right. corner, and you know <laughs> we got a date night. You know, <laughs> so. <laughs> That really is a great idea, and it sounds amazing. So one of the beauties of living in San Antonio, Nani, is that there is so much culture, so much diversity in, in our city that you can almost experience the world just by visiting one of these events we have. For example, the Asian uh, or Chinese New Year event that was held here on campus. Well, I think that the world is getting smaller and smaller, and we have... Uh, a lot of international students coming every year, so I think it's important that we understand each other's culture and that makes us easier to communicate and be friends. It, it was just very refreshing. The food, the, you know, the colors, the, the chemistry among one another, mm -hmm. it was quite fantastic. If you guys find any events in San Antonio area or on campus, make sure to tag us at UIWTV and use the hashtag out of the nest or on the nest for a chance to be featured on our next show. It just keeps getting better and better, you guys. Stick around with us and we're gonna, it's gonna get... Stick around and keep up with us because Nani Jacob has a lot to offer. Make sure to follow us on our social media pages, uh, which is Nani underscore mail and my Instagram is at Jacob, that is J-A-Y-K-C-O-B. Use our hashtag for the chance to be featured on our next show, guys. Yes, you can be featured on our show. I promise. <laughs> I'm your host, Miss Nani Melendez Lopez. And I'm your host, Jacob Martinez. Until, Until next, next time. time.